Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at the fourth element wreck fins. So these are a pretty familiar four channel design bladed fin, channel fin, uh, adjustable heel strap. But the main sort of benefit to it is that it's very environmentally friendly. The REC stands for recycled. Uh, I think 100% of the blade itself, the main part of the fin, is made out of recycled materials. I think parts of the buckle and the, uh, the strap are made out of recycled materials as well. And after at the end of its life cycle you can actually recycle certain parts of this i think mainly the uh, the white section i could be wrong but you can recycle parts of it um so that it can then be reused which is quite nice but anyway as decent pair of fins let's take a closer look so this is how they arrive um Literally, this is the packaging. Uh, you get a elastic bungee strap, uh, a few little paper tags on uh, on a piece of string, and that's it. Um, which I kind of like. Uh, minimal plastic. Now there is one downside to this, and you can't be grumpy with it, is that they do come with a few little scuffs on it through the um, just shipping and um, sort of warehouse process, but. They're a pair of fins, they're gonna get grubby anyway. And most of this, if you uh, give it a little bit of a spit shine, it comes straight off. So you can't get too grumpy with this. Um, it's either that or we go back to the plastic bags and none of us want the plastic bags. So I'm quite happy with this. So yeah, uh, like one and a half inch uh, sort of elastic bungee to, uh, to hold them together. And uh, you can reuse that if you want to, or you can turn that into, I don't know, whatever you want, whatever you can do with an elastic strap. Um, and then as far as packaging goes, yeah, we get these two little tags, one on each fin. Um, one is just uh, everything, uh, everyone makes mistakes. Uh, oh, you may spot a minor cosmetic error on the, uh, the text of these fins. We did too. Oh, I'm intrigued now. Um, I'm gonna have a look for that and see if I can find it. Okay, so I found the spelling mistake, um, and this actually has a really nice story, and I, I really love what Fourth Element have done with this. It's um, they basically say that uh, made in China. It's actually spelt Medea in China. It's just a typo. Uh, but instead of basically uh, destroying an entire batch of fins and then recreating them, they like. Uh, does that really matter everybody so yeah actually that's quite a nice little easter egg type thing um and that's probably going to be fairly limited edition as well so you can have the medea uh limited edition uh wreck fin uh, but yeah other than that you get that one little tag on one fin and the other one uh it's got a little size chart on it which is pretty cool uh the barcode some more information about the fins and how they're uh, sort of recycled and all that kind of stuff um yeah let's take a closer look at the fins themselves so the fin itself yeah you'll probably recognize this is very similar to the uh the maras of anti quattro fins very popular design, very efficient because it gives you a good a good balance between power and control. You can really force yourself through the water because the uh, the, so the teal, the blue sections on this are semi-flexible. They're more of like a, a rubbery material. The white is a bit more rigid, so it creates more of a scoop to trap the water and push it down towards the tip. But also with all these different channels, all those kind of minute movements with your fin kicks to kind of turn around and move, they're much more responsive. So it's a good in-between and a great all-rounder no matter which fin kick style you prefer. Nice and strong as well. Um, instructors have been using this style design for just decades now and it still works. So it's, it's a tried and tested design. Up around the heel, so this has a, um, a big, big sort of heel loop on that with a elasticated bungee star. I think this is some kind of silicone um, instead of just bungee or a spring. So that means that it's much quicker and easier to put your fins on as opposed to those ratchet heel straps. You just grab hold of it with one hand and just pull it over your heel and it's done. This one, when it's actually around your heel, it kind of wraps around and grabs onto uh, to the back of it. So it's going to hold itself in position and with that elastication it just means that one it just goes on and it fits but then two as you dive down deeper as the wetsuit boot starts to compress with the additional pressure or the dry suit boot starts to compress gets a little bit smaller as opposed to a ratchet strap that you then have to adjust this one is automatically pulling itself in so it's holding itself in place and there are six different lengths of this strap that you can adjust it to when you open up the buckle there's sort of three little notches so what you can do is lengthen it one on one side lengthen it one on the other side and you've got six different lengths so that's good if 
it's not quite comfortable, you take it for a dive and it's a little bit too tight or a bit too loose, you can adjust it. Or if you have a pair of three mil boots and a pair of five mil boots, but you're going on different dives on different days, you can adjust the heel strap. You don't have to get a complete replacement ones or a different pair of fins. Foot pocket itself, pretty traditional. Um, you've got this soft section over the top that um, just allows it to bend and flex. And it kind of stores a bit of energy from your foot and then transitions it down to these chunky rails either side that transfer the energy down all the way towards the tip of the fin. So it maintains shape and it's got an ever so slight angle to it. It's not particularly aggressive angle, but it's just enough to improve the efficiency. But you can still walk around on the deck of a boat because uh, it's still fit fairly flat. As I said earlier, you've got these channels that help to shape the uh, the blade of the fin during each part of the fin kick that channels the water down towards the tip and yeah, just creates more of a scoop so you're more efficient and you're trapping more water. You've got these two little rails here. These help to reduce tracking as well. Tracking is when if you imagine sort of putting your, uh, your fin through the water and it kind of shudders from side to side, that's tracking. These help to reduce that by literally creating a barrier so the fin just moves much more smoothly. On the underside, um, very much the same. Uh, you've got some cutouts down at the bottom, so that's to help put your foot in and your foot out. You don't get that suction effect when you're trying to take them off at the end of a dive. Um, and a little bit of grip down towards the underside. So again, yeah, if you're kind of shuffling around on the wet deck of a boat, you still have a bit of grip. And that's the fourth element, rec fins. Yeah, a real sort of step forward as far as eco-conscious scuba diving, uh, made out of recycled materials, incredibly minimal packaging. Uh, I imagine that's gonna be much nicer when they're like hung up in the dive center, but when you're doing sort of mail order stuff, then yeah, you are gonna get a few scuffs, but I promise you it does come off pretty easily just with a bit of spit shine. Um, but otherwise, as a general pair of fins, Top notch. Um, I've always loved this style, this uh, sort of four channel style fin. You'll see them all over the world. They're definitely tried and tested and good for all sorts of different scuba divers. And they're pretty light as well. Um, I, I wouldn't be worried about uh, sort of traveling with these, but they have a decent, uh, decent sort of strength to them as well. Now, there's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link down in the description below so you can check them out and buy from us at simplyscuba.com. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving. <laughs>